I mean, people start for the wrong reasons, but I don't mind the no, reason you start. That's, that's <laughs> important. For the money part, funny enough, I wasn't thinking about the money when I started. It wasn't really about the money. I think it was just the fact that I wanted to, to do that to express yeah. myself. And recently I wrote an article about thriving as a creative, yeah, you yeah, remember? Yeah. And it was talking about like these three types of success when you are looking at the creative mm-hmm. world. You have the commercial success, right? Mm-hmm. You have the creative mm-hmm. success and you have the culture. Welcome to Unscripted with Regan. And on this show, we'll be speaking to amazing individuals who are making you know waves in their career and in their industry. And on this very first episode, right, we have an amazing product designer. The money will come. Go for it. But no, no, one, <laughs> no one wants to like spend that time investing like yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because it'd be easy, like the formula this in this master your craft, sell yourself, eventually the money will follow. People focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. Focus on the craft. I mean that that'd be why then they call you designer now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's right, yeah, welcome to Unscripted with Regan. How, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> how, how has 2024 been so far? I know this year you have a lot of goals. A lot. How, yes. how has it been? So this year, last year, let me just talk about last mm-hmm. year. So last year I had similar strategy where I had like a lot of goals. Right. But the thing was I couldn't achieve most of them. Mm-hmm. So this time around, I'm approaching it differently. Okay. Where I did tackle one goal at a time. So let's say month of February, I just pick one goal. Okay. Then go hard at it. Yeah, I remember you were talking to me about that in the month of January and some of the things you wanted to learn. You won't learn everything, so why? Like, what was, what, what's, what's, like, what's up? <laughs> my, funny enough, my brain, mm-hmm. no they feel okay if I don't, don't have, have something, like, going something going on. And if I have something going on for quite some time, mm-hmm. I get like bored. Okay. So sometimes to s- simulate, you like, switch them up. Yeah, stimulate my brain. Because I mean, I've been friends with you for close to four years, and I know that you, that you do, you've done everything, Sam. <laughs> I did try every career <laughs> somebody can think of. You've done it, even mm-hmm. in the tech industry. You attempted so many fields mm-hmm. and all that. And I mean, this show is to just dive into your life, see who you seen is, your background, your motivations, your inspiration, so that somebody where they come can also learn from you, right? So, I mean. The very first thing I want me to talk about be your rap career. <laughs> <laughs> you did rap when you were, you were getting started, right? Yeah. What happened? Why did you leave that and all that? <laughs> <laughs> so this rap thing, it's funny mm-hmm. how it started. It was this competition we were doing in GHS, mm-hmm. okay? And I had a bet with my friend that I can actually like rap this song, like it is head it. to down, mm-hmm. he gets. Then the embed so now nah, I'm not gonna fit. So what I did was I went back home, listened to the song, wrote the okay, lyrics. So it was down. someone's song. Someone's song. <laughs> I did that and they were like, yeah, Charlie, mm-hmm. I try. And I because of that, it gave me that momentum to actually start writing. Because when I was reading the lyrics, I'm like, ah, this, this, thing thing is, is, this is something you can do. Okay. So I did one with i think that time it was brothers mm-hmm. they had the same sample oh I mean, right yeah, yeah then the beats did then i rap something for top then my brother he was then in uni he had this rap um, music thing going on in uni and he came he saw me like rapping i was like nah it be my own i say yeah so he take go camp so me my track you know? go take go camp go. <laughs> so then that's why i saw that now nah, this thing i can actually like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. start prepping for it so the whole thing started when i got the feedback that it was actually good because it'd be uni people so mm-hmm. if uni people say it'd be good then it'd be good then it'd be actually good how, so, how long did you do the music because i know rather i don't do music right yeah. i don't know into product design and we'll, we'll look at how you move from Rap. <laughs> That's two <laughs> distinct fields. We move from rap to yeah. product design in the tech field. But how long did you do it? And why did you move from rap? Like, what happened? Yeah, so I was doing it. I did it for, I think, five or six years. Whoa. Yes. So throughout SHS, you I was doing, doing rap. it. Um, uni. Yeah, I think the whole of the four years I was doing it. Yeah, the whole four years. So I did rap. Probably between five to seven years. Yes. 
But the <laughs> issue was with the recording. <laughs> you just do that for five minutes. You just <laughs> drop on like that. <laughs> so the issue was with the recording. Mm-hmm. At that time, money no day. Oh. Yeah. And around that money day. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> but yeah, so money no day. Mm-hmm. And at that time, recording was, for me, it was expensive. So okay. I had friends that were supporting me. So sometimes I write it down. Like wrap it with them, like sing it to mm-hmm. them, so that they see. So now nah, this thing be fire. Then we will go studio, go record. So that was how I was going about it. And one thing was Charlie, where we did, you know, where they come from. Mm-hmm. It wasn't sustainable for me. It wasn't it, it was sustainable. Starting in the long yeah, time. Yeah, because I wasn't one. I wasn't getting money from it, mm-hmm. and I was spending more than myself. I did get. So <laughs> what, what was your rap name for the people watching? So that they go, if you go listen, then <laughs> you, you, you go add to them a playlist. Yeah, so it was my key. So the name was from my name, K. So Which like, key in your name? K. Kwame. I'm Kwame. Kwame. Okay, so okay, okay. for house, then they call me K. Mm-hmm. Then the MC. Oh, I so added MC, the MC, then K. K. So like my, my K. K. Right, for my K. <laughs> All right. I mean, I know, I know in university, you did computer engineering. No, nah, electrical. Electrical engineering. Yeah. So you go do electrical engineering. You had a certificate that you can be cashing out from. What happened? Anything. Why do you drop your electrical engineering certificate and then say, okay, I want to get into tech? And I know, I mean, we spoke about your transition journey and all that, the things you went through and all that. Why did you decide that? What happened? How did you go through the transitioning process? Because it's very difficult, I mean, for some of the people I know, to just move from one field and then just get into another field, especially a competitive field like tech, mm-hmm. right? Especially another competitive one like product design. Because right now, you know the market is very saturated. Yeah. So what do you do different? I think you transition somewhere two, three years ago. Yeah. What did you do different? What happened? And all that. <laughs> so the thing is, most of the time, people, they forget that I was actually doing design mm-hmm. um, in GHS. Oh, so okay. I was really good at visual arts, mm-hmm. like arts, arts in general. Then you I were good. More. But then the issue was with my parents. So they were like, my brother, they already they do visual arts. Mm-hmm. You can't go into that field. So then I had to find something that's outside like art. Mm-hmm. And for me, math was something I was really good. When math, the media, if you take, I will sort of give you right Funny now. Enough, <laughs> that's the word that they they like, wow. Yeah. We yeah. with it here. <laughs> so I spoke with a couple of teachers about it, like, I don't know what to make her do, mm-hmm. right? So they were like, they make her try science. Mm-hmm. Initially, I was going with business because of the math thing, but they were like, nah. Business no, isn't a lot of no math really like that. Yeah. Yeah. So make her go with the science. And with the science, I was really interested in this tech stuff. Right. So inventing electronics, okay, okay, those okay, kind okay, of okay. things. That was something I was really interested in. So I did a lot of research and I noticed that electrical stroke electronics engineering mm-hmm. was something that I can, you can, okay. yeah, I can do. So. Funny enough, all my courses, right? So there are four choices. Like, mm-hmm. easy to go, you, you go, go select pick four. Them all get similar things. So my first was electrical electronics engineering, mm-hmm. second, computer engineering, third, telecom <laughs> engineering, <laughs> then the last one, computer science. So you, your mind was, you were going for engineering. <laughs> so it was something related to, like I said, computer, tech. computer stuff. So okay. those things were like, I think, no matter the one I get, you know, the other one, still, still the, the, the line, line with that. Okay. So, yes, that's why I got into mm-hmm. the electrical in the first place. So, in the course of, like, my uni days, you know, then I start, I don't know, I start the code. The story. <laughs> <laughs> I start the code because mm-hmm. programming was also something I was intrigued, like, about. I did little robotics when I was in ACHS. Okay. So I was like, okay, make a study code. Mm-hmm. So I was doing C++. Mm-hmm. Then later, I mean, I don't really see how it did, it, it did in line with what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So then I stopped. Then I started doing front end. Okay. That was like building websites, HTML, mm-hmm. CSS. And the way I do them. <laughs> oh. Takashi. Bro, <laughs> so normally when you go to uni, you have this long VAC yeah, thing where you will go like company the ones then me i don't go i don't choose oh anything. internship you know internship. Do some. Do some. So i just so those three months uh-huh. then i day house watch youtube videos html css javascript i just did learn now then code websites mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's what then i do for the three months so me when i came back to like uni like 
school reopening. Then everybody say, hey, where I go get this? Where I say, Charlie? The three months me, that one that then I do. Thing, yeah. <laughs> Somebody go take internship money. <laughs> <laughs> that one then I do because it was something I was interested in. So I started coding website for people. And one time I did something. You said God and I shot. So Messiah, yeah. Yeah, he reached out, he was like, he did pitch give this client. Mm-hmm. So he needs he needs a website, mm-hmm. right? And it'd be one day thing. Mm-hmm. So I will feel do give a mana. Because already he take give somebody way. The person will deliver. So I didn't go for lectures. Mm-hmm. I, just lectures. Sat, <laughs> I just sat in my room, code everything. Then the next day I just was it paid? It wasn't paid. That means the passion was there for the thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. But then, me, back then, there'd be money at the watch. I mean, right he said then, he said it was a like proposal. So oh, if okay, the okay, money okay. If the comes, money comes in. But me, I wasn't really like in for the money, money. You wanted to Because yeah. even when he came to me, it was like, no matter what, he go pay me. But then me, Charlie. You just want to learn <laughs> I thing. just wanted to yeah, be. very important. And Sam came into the picture. Right. He saw me like, doing this coding like sometimes when i do it i post it and it was like ah, i try ux design mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> and funny enough when i was coding people were telling me that i have this knack for design, design because okay. i know they do the design just the like code. i just yeah. code them you really get so when sam told me i looked into it charlie see then i rex say it was actually in line with something i was interested in one the tech mm-hmm. It's in the tech industry. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm doing designing. Yeah. So that's how come the designing thing Starting. popped up. But then with the transitioning, <laughs> let's 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 go. <sighs> so, <laughs> it was really tough. Let, let me. Do you think it was? Ah, oh, you have answered my question. I was going to ask you thought it was difficult. Yeah, it was tough. You know, you know, the thing. It was tough because, like I said, sometimes you need to consider the environment you are yeah. in, your situation. Because if you don't get money, why you the go shit? You go, and you wanted to start with freelance. Yes. I remember that was when we started the Design Junkies podcast and there were times where we wanted to record an episode. You dare underground. <laughs> it's like, actually, boys, let's postpone it because I'm, I'm going to site. Yes. You were still doing design. Yes. Yes. So, How were you balancing? Yes. The, the, the initial the goal was to do it as a side gig. Mm-hmm. So have my full time, which is the engineering going on, because I actually loved like troubleshooting. Mm-hmm. Trouble, I don't know. They give me this excitement, the fact that I know how machines work, mm-hmm. how they mm-hmm. operate. Mm-hmm. Then if problem come, how you go if you solve one that? Too. So right. I love doing it. And the designing, I'm like, okay, me I go feel balance, balance them in a way. So then what I did was I was doing it, like learning it alongside the engineering mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like i said the goal was to have I'm it as a so. side gig mm-hmm. so then my mind no day transitioning crap mm-hmm. but then funny enough too when i was doing this i had maybe some long-term goal mm-hmm. which probably i didn't know how i would have done it but then the goal was maybe somewhere along the lines i'll stop engineering then do the design. focus fully on design. the design so yeah as we did Record the podcast, <laughs> yes. Then I they go underground, underground. Oh. going to sites, working on machines. And the balance was hard because it was six to six. Mm. We did work some we did work on weekends if you get yeah. so finding the balance, I had to sacrifice my sleep time, sleep time, and time you get. So if I come home, let's say around eight, nine, I for bed, I mean I don't go bed. Now you go learn design. Now I for learn design. Practice too. It gets not just learning, I have to practice too. And Messiah was really crucial when I was trying yeah, to learn it because okay, okay. He, he gave me videos, oh. links to YouTube oh. channel, then things. You try? Yes. And me, if I didn't learn anything new, mm-hmm. I want to understand the fundamentals. The fundamentals. So important. Charlie, if I don't so understand, important. I can't really do anything yeah. about once, it. Once you understand the business or something, you could do a lot. Yes. You could do a yes. lot. Yeah. And that was the same thing when I was in the engineering space, mm-hmm. right? You need to understand how the machine works yeah. before you can even know where the problem is. It gets. Sure. So that's how I approached anything that I'm learning. So that was the same thing I started. Initially, I was doing like the catch up. You know, normally when you start designing, freestyling. Design, Charlie, yeah, freestyling. freestyling. <laughs> and sometimes you think you are being like overly creative in a way. No, 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 but but you, 
they just missed the point. I feel you. <laughs> yes. So I have a couple of designs actually. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, bro, what should do So yeah, he saw some of my because me one thing was I was putting myself out there. Okay. So when I do it, I just post it. Okay. And he saw it and he recommended a couple of videos, color theory, those kind of things. Yeah. And Charlie, I started going to one. But with the UX, I had to save up money for... To buy the course. Buy the yeah. course. Because I think that time, most of the resources out there in terms of educational mm-hmm. content was mostly on the UI part. Yep. So even me, Seth, yep. I had to buy, buy courses. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing people don't realize. There's a point where you get free re- resources yep. to study. But then go reach some point, you need to invest into it. And I mean, that, that'd be something amazing. That was very Yeah. Good. So that one, I was using my NSS money. Oh, okay. You yes. save up, then go back. Charlie, which don't want? Yeah, so I would save up. And at that time, too, I was trying to move from where I did, then where I go rent for, then I did Kumasi. Mm-hmm. So where I was, it wasn't really helping me. Internet issues then. So then I don't I remember, pa. <laughs> <laughs> I for move, go new place. Right. And the money that I don't get, but then I knew my NSS money will come. So I had to be strategic about what I will chop, mm. you know? Yeah, yeah. So that one day I really budget for, especially for the course, because it was around, I think, thousand something CDs. That time then we take off mines, at least if we know they get the 500, so then it'd be like they 800. <laughs> Your safety. <laughs> <laughs> Funny well, enough, we know they get any bonus. There was no allowance on safety set. NSS be actually. <laughs> You really try. <laughs> yeah, really so try. that was what I was doing. I come back home, learn design, work, sleep around one, sometimes two, wake up mm. at four, go back. That go back was, to sites. I nearly fainted underground. Yeah, and I remember you told me that. Yeah, you told me <laughs> that, that, that story. That's serious. That's serious. I mean, this is someone who knows where he's going. I think some weeks ago, you were telling me about how you spoke to one guy when you wanted to actually make the final decision of moving from engineering to... UX, right? Yeah. Where you started talking about the salary things, the money. We are not going to get to that, but what kind of gave it out of him? Because see, you know, busy to just leave something that is paying you to step into a field where, because it's different if maybe you, you had, let's say, a full time role mm-hmm. ready. Mm-hmm. I think you just dived right into freelancing at the beginning, mm-hmm. right? What was it? Is it that you saved up enough? Like, what was it? What, what did you give it out of him? Yeah, so <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you saw something where I try, where I see, say, mm-hmm. if you actually apply to any transitioning you did do, it will feel work. Mm-hmm. So what I did was, when I finally decided to make the move, mm-hmm. then I was like, okay, let me evaluate myself okay. where I am now. Skill-wise, I will feel get job right now and now, mm-hmm. right? That was the question I asked myself. So what I did was, I was looking into like UI jobs, like... Online. UX yeah. jobs, product design jobs, seeing their requirements, then, then ask myself, oh. are they match up or not? Okay. What are they lack? So where you don't match up, you now make sure you're you up to that standard. Yes. So what okay. I did was I gave, so that was like national service there. Mm-hmm. So I gave myself two years mm-hmm. to actually like master the craft. Smart. Yes. So. Two years then, Charlie, I'm not saying that be the goal. So I wasn't planning on switching anytime soon for my full time because it they give it me, they the, give money, me the money. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I had the call. When I had the call, it was close to like when I wanted to make the transition. That's in the two years timeline, mm-hmm. right? That was uh, along like the second year. Mm-hmm. That's where I reached out to it was our dad. Yeah. Yeah. I reached out to him and I was like, Charlie, this be what I want to do. And he gave me the advice, say, Charlie, if you get money, like, you know, get money right now, where you go <laughs> last you for, let's say, a year, then Charlie, make you know, try do the, what is it, the transition. the transition. So for me, it was about balancing the financial side mm-hmm. and also knowing that this will be the value, added, the gap we are the lack for the marketing side, right? So I was taking on gigs. Whilst you were doing the engineering. Whilst I was doing the engineering. Um, up work, I sign up to these freelance things. Mm-hmm. Then I did. Where, where, where you getting the gigs? That where them brown me, you know? the Indian oh. guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I don't want to mention the platform name again because <laughs> let's let's move on. Yeah. So at that time, I didn't know anything about contracts. Yeah. You know, the, I was just like the mentality was get something done. So any job be away, they can't be. I feel like anybody who starts 
your career if you be serious that thing will go take do you because <laughs> yes. somebody did it to me i think when i was on campus mm. gave me their gig we met at a crown mall spoke 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 i gave him, i also didn't know anything about contract so i just sent him an invoice mm-hmm. sent him an invoice so i was like oh come I finished doing the work. I think that time was Adobe XD. So mm-hmm. to give the person the file, you have to send the actual file. Yeah. So I sent him the XD file. Till today, I didn't get a reply. I went on the guy's website. He had used the design. I said, hey. <laughs> then take me. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's, it's something. It's something yeah. when we'll, you we'll, we'll come now. back to the journey. But this is a conversation I was having with a friend about pro bono work, free work. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Do, do you do anything like that at the early stages of your career? Do you think it helps you? Yeah, feel like they help. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It really helps because sometimes, like I said, you have to evaluate yourself. Mm-hmm. Me, that be something I, I always they do. Right mm-hmm. now, I still they do. Like, yeah, I, know. I know what I'm lacking. Yes. Right? And I make preparations or plans to close that gap. Okay. So when it comes to free work, what I do is if I want to, let's say, learn a particular thing in this industry, maybe I've not designed for this industry before, right? What I do is I target gigs around that those. Side. So normally, if you, you approach me and you date that region, there's a high chance that I'll not be looking for money. It will be just the experience I want. Mm-hmm. So you know, be yes, all the few works they need, but I'm strategic about, about it. Because right. sometimes, yeah, the value wise, I know if I work for free on this project, there's the value I'm getting. Yeah. So at that point, money. It's not really what I looking. want. Is the and, it, and it has to the experience, like exactly as the experience, the your portfolio experience. as well. Yes, yeah. yes. And sometimes you being the goodwill of people, because sometimes you don't know when this person might give you a bigger client. So yeah, I do take like free gigs. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Anyway, back to the transition. I think we we spoke about the financial part. Anybody looking to transition, whatever career, you mm-hmm. need to make from from what you're saying. That's what yes. I'm taking. Yes. Need to make sure say. Whilst you're leaving, you have something to rely on because mm-hmm. it's a very competitive field. Yep. Right? yep. I think you mentioned about evaluating themselves. Yes. You were looking, that's smart. You were looking at the job market, the mm-hmm. job description, and what is required of a UX designer. Mm-hmm. And then, okay, this thing they are looking for, is this something I can do? Yeah. Okay, this one, okay, I don't match that. Let me go and improve myself. Yes, yes. So basically, that be it. Your financial side and also making sure your, you're, you evaluate you're, yourself you're and give a timeline. So I gave myself two years mm-hmm. to actually like build myself so that I'm ready for the market, that I know I'm guaranteed of getting something. Do you get it? So for instance, if I'm applying for an entry role, mm-hmm. I already get experience for the, for the role. Side. Yeah, yeah. Get, so for someone coming in with no experience, may I have yeah, the upper hand? Yeah, exactly. You have the upper and that too. was my mentality for like getting in. Because I needed a, a way to get in. And to get in, I need something that will like put me on top. Yeah. Yes. I, I want us to come to the product design career right now. How, you've been doing, so how long has it been now? Three years? Uh, make us see. Should I add a no, freelance? No, but just from w- once you took the decision to transition fully. Yeah, so it'd be three years. Or I think two, three. Two, yes, three years. Yes. All right. I want us to come to that side. But before that, it's is sometimes saying, eh? You can have all these things take the financial part, the evaluation. But sometimes, like you, you, you mentioned mentality, and that was what, but I think we're having a conversation last time. Sometimes people get scared to take a step. Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. If you have all those things take, but then you start doubting yourself. You, ne- you never experienced anything like that. You were bold enough to just go. Oh, the doubt is there, then it will come. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was helping a couple of people mm-hmm. in the... Me, I'll not be somebody way I they put them out there, but mm-hmm. then people do reach out to so how I will do this. And ah, I will help them. Later, see say them back some deal, mm-hmm. them travel. And I was like, ah, what are the mess way these people are getting it right? Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah, there were doubts like that where I'm like, oh, you, oh, know, you know, be good yeah, enough. Yeah, you know, be good do you enough. get it? But then sometimes I'm like, nah. Just take this step. Charlie, make her go for them because. Yeah. If someone like this can do it, why can't I do it? Do you get it? Yeah. People are making it here, so why can't I do it? Yeah, so me, that was the mentality, like you said. I had this stubborn mentality. Where I was like, I know say I will make them. It's just, a, it's just a matter of time, right? <laughs> yeah. And also, I was putting myself out there, networking, intentional networking. Yeah, very important. I was doing that because if you don't have the right network, 
it's very difficult for you to do the transitioning because mind you, the person you are networking with, maybe they have a Some. couple of gigs to be, then they will go, hey, this person this said Friday. Do yeah. you get it? And, and the funny thing about referrals be, if somebody refer you, very easy to very get easy. it. Very get easy. It. So I made sure that everyone knew that I was transitioning. I mm. wanted to get you remember I, I was I, telling you. I, I hear everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted them, like I wanted to be on top of my like for people, especially in the space. So I was doing intentional networking. If I not say you go feed get me potential this one, then I'll reach out, let you know that Charlie, if anything, be yeah, I make a not do you get it? Sorry. Yes. So Sorry. that that's that's it for me. Okay. Now to product design. Two years and Charlie, you do crazy things. I did try. You, how many industries have you worked in? So I know you've done fintech. Fintech, safe guy. No, be proper fintech. But yeah, mm -hmm. small fintech. Mention for me. Education. Mm -hmm. um, non profit. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I don't know, safe. How? You, you, medical. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, you've, done oh, you've mentioned education now. Yes. Okay. Medi medical. Um, what else? What else? I don't, I don't you, 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 you've, you've delved into it. How, how is the product design career like for someone watching? Because right now, the industry, industry be very saturated and also competitive. How do you position yourself at the point where, for lack of a better word, you can make it? <laughs> Maybe, oh, okay, at this point in time. Because you know right now, because plenty of people, they do, um, they do the resources out there mm -hmm. are not... I don't even want to say I'm not in now, but people are getting it wrong. Yeah. Right? They're not learning the right things to just push, position themselves well. So what what will you give to someone that's not getting started? Right? What should they do differently? Where should they go? What do you do that, you know, right now you are well educated in your field. Mm -hmm. You can work anywhere, if I should say. I know you, very tough, <laughs> you know, guy. What advice would you give to someone who wants to get started? Because a lot of people want to do this. Yeah. They want to do product design. So I mean, people start for the wrong reasons, but I don't mind them. No, that's that's important. <laughs> no, see, <laughs> again, me and a friend and, and we were talking about this recently. Someone, called, <laughs> a person called me, wanted to learn UI, right, UX. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I want to learn this. I was like, sure, no problem. I go you get it started. But before you get started, before I give you my time, I'm going to give you certain resources. Watch this, and then if it's like it's still something you want to do, you come back. Mm -hmm. I sent it to the person. The first response was, hey, 23 videos. I was like, we knew very Then on the call, the person was like, oh, is it easier to make money or is it easier to get a job? You realize that, actually, people's motivation, the, the reasons why they are starting at the first place is because they want to get money. And once you do that, you, you, you like, you get it wrong. Yeah. So that one, you go fit touch on them. Don't, don't leave it. You can't touch on it. <laughs> yeah, so starting for the wrong reasons, be very crucial when starting because then it gets to that point where it becomes tough mm -hmm. and now your reason for starting will be the, like the, the actual the thing money. pushing you to like consider moving forward so me for instance media the design there it be something you, did. you like it i like it yeah and <laughs> the fact that it was in tech also the psychology bit yeah which yeah. is like the mind the and mind, the humans and all that down to how they love them mm -hmm. like so the fact that all of like the three things were coming together may be something that I don't want to pursue. So mm -hmm. no matter what, I wanted to do it. For the money part, funny enough, I wasn't thinking about the money when I started. It wasn't really about the money. I think it was just the fact that I wanted to, to be that to express yeah. myself. But then you can be in it for the money, mm -hmm. but then know that there will be obstacles along yeah. the way. So if the money is like the strong, this one, you go feel go down there. You as did, long as you make it to the end, <laughs> yeah, did, did. yeah, I don't mind. So yeah, start off, you need to know why you are getting into this. Is it mm. money wise? Is it because you want to explore your creative side? And recently I wrote an article about thriving as a creative, yeah, you yeah, remember? Yeah. And it was talking about like these three types of success when you are looking at the creative mm -hmm. world. You have the commercial success, right? Mm -hmm you have the creative success mm -hmm. and you have the culture. Okay. So the commercial is mainly about their finances. You do you don't want cash they want out. Cash out the, yeah. You they get. And the culture is more about the influence That's in human. that industry, yeah. right? And the creative is 
basically you flexing your muscles, like building your craft. Right. So normally, if you look at it from this angle, you notice that when you are starting out, there's one type of success you are looking at. So if you are starting out, it's very difficult for you to look at the commercial because at that point, your skill your knows the match. Yes. Your but then the most, most of the time, people, they jump go that side, yeah. right? And you can jump to that side if financially you get something where they support you. Yeah. Maybe probably you have, you are from a rich home. So that one, money no be issue. So that one, you can just aim for that. I don't mind. But then eventually you'll be exposed because... <laughs> <laughs> exposed. <laughs> <laughs> because then your craft no day the match. Marriage. So what you're saying is, when you're getting started, focus on mastering your craft. Yeah, the craft. Get your skill up. The money will come. The money will come. Go, I mean, I but know. no yeah. one, no one wants to like spend that time investing like yeah, that's skill. Because yeah. it be easy, like the formula this in this master your craft, sell yourself. Eventually, the money will follow. Yeah. But then people are doing it reverse, which be so wrong. That be how come sometimes you go see these influencers, you reach out to them. Then I didn't say it. Oh no, nah, it's something we did. <laughs> but then you reach out to them, you see their works, you know they match. Yeah. And I also wrote an article about the title yes. thing. Yeah. So people focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. Focus on the crafts. I mean that that'd be why then they call you designer now. <laughs> If you design, you know if you design. I like, was the point. You weren't supposed to come and fight with us, but I need to say something. Nah, so the thing is just focus on your craft. I mean, that be the thing. Focus, focus on your craft. Your Learn the fundamental. The consistency. People, people are in a hurry. There's this quote I've forgotten, but it's like once people start, I think overnight success. They want it quick, quick, quick. quick, quick but don't be like that. You, it's you will start from somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You will make that little coins. I mean, maybe your very first job can be paying you a lot. We are not saying it's not possible, but. You start from somewhere, master your skill. You're making the money, you're mm -hmm. still learning. Yeah, learning. And I remember I was telling one guy recently, like, I was like, I, I have to learn more. Like, mm -hmm. and the person was like, ah. but I, I was like, no, I'm not already doing good. Because very soon I'll become old school. If I become old school, <laughs> then <laughs> new people coming will just claim it from oh, there. Simple, simple, simple. So simple. even you have five years' experience, you are still learning. Because that's one funny thing or interesting thing in our design industry. There's always something new. Yes, or let me say the tech industry. Man. Yeah. There's always something new. AI starts. Plenty AIs are coming. You yep. understand? Yep. To make the work easier and all that. So if you are not consistent, if you are not always learning, old school, yes. people just clear you out. Yes. Of right I now. think the parts where you mentioned like the learning thing, it'd be something where people they miss. You have to have an open mind to always open. learning. Learning. My mantra, you see, my this one, I always they put for them, like learn, relearn, that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be something I they like because sometimes you you think you know it all, mm -hmm. but then when you have that open mind to learning again, so some things go, maybe you learn, if you initially this was how it was done, mm -hmm. but then if you don't let go of that mentality when things change, you'll be stuck. Yeah, true. Recently someone told me something, I think it's talking about how people always, people always come to her like, oh, teach me, teach me, teach me. And it's just like, if you are somebody that learns, whilst you are learning, you realize that there are more things to learn, which you'll be learning. So it's like, you will learn, mm -hmm. yeah, learn no, like, you will you, you, be surprised the gap, you, you, the yeah. knowledge gap you are missing. Like, it'd be, it be crazy. That's interesting. But yeah, people, like I said, is the, the money factor there, I understand. You want to get money, but then, like I said, evaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. Know where you are. If you get people with them who support you, then you that's can. fine. Mm -hmm. You can then go, because you know you have a cushion to like fall on. But then if you have no cushion, make sure you have the stability first because if you even need, let's look at is it abraham maslow's theory yeah when you look at that thing it starts with security mm -hmm. yeah, I, mean, I, I don't remember that <laughs> thing, but. <laughs> so most of the time when i think it be it is start oh, from there our needs our needs like your basic needs that's what you need if you don't know where you go put your head for it will be you problem go, you know go really it gets so you need to make sure you have that security you have a place to leave money. It all ties back to what we're saying about the finances. If you are going to make that move, make sure so you have your finances sorted so that you can take time and then master your practice. Okay, I'm a, I'm a beginner. I want to learn product design. Wherever field I'm coming from, you could share some few places I could go to just maybe probably learn a few things to just get me or make them DM me or something. Me, they DM me. If you DM me, I mean, I'll go respond. Yeah, okay. one, yeah. But where can they learn from? So, YouTube mm -hmm. for free resources. Mm -hmm. 
YouTube, I think, is the best place because mm -hmm. that's where I started from. Okay. So that's where I, my color theory, um, was the principles of design, those things. That's where I, I learned everything from because I said, it'd be free. At the beginning, they're free. <laughs> free but then if you build yourself and now you have something saved up, for me, I always recommend IDF. Yeah. Because IDF, they mostly, they go into like the specialist. Yeah, yeah. It's so, very structured. Yes, yeah, very well. structured. So UX design, like right now, I think they've done it in such a way that you can filter it by the profession. Yeah, the profession. Research, yes. then things. Initially, yeah. it wasn't like yeah, that, true, but true, now true. you can do that. So you go there, you see what you then you filter it based on the choice. Then, yeah, I think one course, study up. After all, you'll be there, um, if there are fundamentals you are looking yeah. at. So and once you start learning, you realize that one thing will lead to another, and then you'll be learning the several things. Yeah. And then I think the other thing, important thing is the networking. Network. Just speaking to more people. Yes. Because if you are going into a field that you know nothing of, you need to talk to, need a lot to, of talk to people that right now I say if you they, if you they move from Accra, go let's say Kumasi, right? You, you, you will look for someone over there too. Yeah, true. So that's how it works. You need to know people in that in that space, network with them. And when you are reaching out, being their intentionality they, they need to <laughs> <laughs> like be specific. If this you the one from this person, make no go with hello. You know, especially Hello, hi. Type the full message. <laughs> so that's so true. this thing, when I, when I was transitioning, I reached out to one guy on Twitter. Then he be spaces, then they do. I follow this guy, then at the CCA, they hop on this tech spaces, tech spaces. Then I forget the company they work for. But then I noticed this guy could be something like he could help me get some of these remote jobs. Because mm -hmm. they're my mind, they remote jobs. Yeah. And he was always preaching about like this remote thing. So what I did was, I literally I type my message, tell him who I be, my, currently what I'm doing. That's the electrical. <laughs> how long I've been doing the freelance? That is my introduction, bro. I make sure say be detailed so that one he knows where I'm from, like what what you want from him and everything. What I want. So it was very detailed. So later on he he replied and was like. He didn't like the way I send the message because one, he now knows who I am. Secondly, he knows what, what I can want do from him. That. And he go feel help me easy. And he was like, most of the time people reach out and they are not specific about what they want. It be me, mommy, the one make a thing give you. Nah, nah, nah. You know, because most of the time they don't have time. They like don't have time. people yeah. are that it's very busy. They don't have so time. you need to make it easier for them. And <laughs> Let me tell you this. I don't know if I've told you before, but then this particular person mm -hmm. helped me get like a resume review oh, in a way. Okay. He review in a way I think apply gets the job safe. Cause he also potentially that one, you know, you know good as planned, but then he linked me to someone in um Shopify. Hey, that's yeah. where he wanted to go and work. This boy. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine, you know, I just the transition go, yeah. but then it didn't go as planned. But then it's the fact that I was intentional about who I was. So it was easier to help you. So okay, for 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 someone that's starting again, because those people are my focus, right? What advice would you give them when it comes to the product design field? What would you tell them to pay attention to? Maybe it can be two, three, two, three things. Just pointers. What would you tell them to pay attention to? Attention to details. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, as a designer, yeah, you have to pay attention to, like, mm -hmm. you need to have that skill. Mm -hmm. So, normally, that's why I say you need to, like, master your craft mm -hmm. because that be how most of, like, these people, they reach out at, then they look out they look for, for, right? They don't, if they go to, um, go to your website, portfolio website, or they are looking at your portfolio. Most of the time, it's the visuals, right? They look at the visuals. And if you are not good at that, they are for you. Yeah, for you. So normally, I advise that you the UI craft it here, Charlie. Attention. Second point. Because it, it can get you into, like, if you don't want to do UX yeah, research, yeah, and all that, that yeah. thing will help. You can do full research, too. Now they are nobody. Yeah. <laughs> now they nobody. If you, if you enjoy but then that. your portfolio needs to kind of yeah. uh, match up with what whatever you do. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So attention to detail, mastering your craft. 
also communication okay yeah you need to be really open about that like understand how to talk because you'll be mostly presenting your design okay, stakeholders talking. different developers yes. and they all understand different languages language so like they say communication is key because <laughs> if you sell the idea yeah, so you need to idea. really know how to talk well and what else eh? so me there's the soft skill part i think that one is mostly from experience right you get to learn if you you are in that space so yeah collab also Charlie, make them collaborate because you can't learn yeah. everything on, on your own, own. that one because <laughs> the, there's a lot of learned when we started the design junkies a lot mm. just by observation you don't even have to necessarily ask the person any question okay listen i mean i want to we are, we are about to wrap up you don't you don't do just product design right now you do content creating and also you are, i know you're a co-founder of the design junkies mm -hmm. right top top guys <laughs> more your idea hey if I <laughs> why you don't yeah. do your design <laughs> You body very well, and I know you also you've also started working on a product, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what was the name? Assurance. Oh, assurance. Assurance. Yeah. What's in assure? So oh, assured. Assurance. Assured. And then rent. rent. That's smart. I just wanted to touch. <laughs> well, I mean, for the content creation bit, we know that on the design junkie is assurance, and then we can wrap up. So. Okay. So where should I start from? Any, content. Any of them. Any. Yeah. Yeah. So design junkie is the. Uh, I mean, you already know the story. <laughs> <laughs> So, what, what, what what you put it do for there? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. So yeah, yeah, we are trying to change the perception mm -hmm. in the African like space design space. Okay. Yeah, upscaling designers in the African market, um, mm -hmm. bringing product to that also helps. Okay. Them. Uh, yeah. So basically, it'd be just we leveling up the game in the African market. How, how many? Space. How many are you guys? <laughs> I don't know. I'm annoying you, but you ask, how many of you guys? And your names, please. I don't want to be Please mention it. Yeah, his name so, is one. Yeah, so there's me, Samuel, you. Who's you? Mention the name. Regan. Uh huh. And there's Mike. There's. So, the volunteers. Yeah. Um, that, right, that, those ones, they're a lot. They're a lot. <laughs> so, right now, we have a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, Good yeah, enough. but then, like, the four of us, we actually like built and then you guys still accepting volunteers who want to work with the team yeah we need volunteers so yeah if if you they watch this and you want to volunteer with the design junkies mm -hmm. just hop onto our website you see open rules in there and just apply we need brilliant minds and you know the matter if you are starting out if you really want to learn just apply we we they, we they encourage that yeah, yeah, yeah as long as you are willing it will take to right now learn the yeah. video <laughs> so uh -huh. yeah for the design junkies yeah we currently we did a brand refresh yeah, amazing yes because we wanted to also move from the fact that it's just a podcast yeah and yeah about yeah, doing both. youtube videos eating things and things <laughs> all right also the second one assurance assurance <laughs> <laughs> Assurance start from Kumasi. Huh. I will summarize for you. <laughs> but yeah, I will try to summarize them. So it'd be basically me if I see like people making taking advantage of a vulnerable system, I know they like. Okay. Or cheating people. I know they like. It they it they vex my soul. Okay. <laughs> like I really don't like it. So the renting thing over here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. The leaders know they do anything about them. Mm -hmm. And me, they vex me because <laughs> we be Ghanaians. Some amounts you know they make sense. Like for an average Ghanaian, mm -hmm. earning like an average salary, some amounts like you no know, they make sense mm -hmm. for me. Like charging maybe two thousand dollars a month. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> you dig Ghana. <laughs> like that's like twenty K yeah. CDs. And hardly do people make that money. I think recently there was this um, survey. I don't know if you've seen it. The average earning salary for I think Ghanaians, right? Mm -hmm. It'd be like three k there. Wow. So imagine three k. Someone is earning three k. See this. Mm -hmm. Then rent. You say make it take like ten k. Come. You know they make sense. <laughs> and yeah, the whole experience. Kumase Accra. I noticed it was different because. Agent to they charge them my money. Uh, For Kumasi, yeah. then it was mainly the agent taking 
their commission from the landlord. But here, the landlord money be different. The rent agency. The agent too is different. And Charlie, when I saw there was something that I could do about it, I, the thing is, I don't want to try to solve them. Okay. Right. I don't know how. But you're trying it. I'm trying it. So that's I want I, to make a change. So that's there. when assurance comes in. Yes, that's where assurance comes in, where we are trying to make it affordable for the average Ghanaian and also make it easy to find like rentals and all that. So that'd be where the whole thing, hopefully we'll get something solid running, although we are having our challenges at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's so expected. It's expected since you're starting. Because yeah, people too, that means now people them are pricing them things you they can't you can't you can't mess up mess up actually, so, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll so <laughs> yeah. yes that's for assurance and the content creation there yeah. you now you know charlie you, you are cooking. the branding you are cooking things yes <laughs> the branding is necessary very so necessary the personal branding, you have to keep the branding and also check. right now i get this i don't know the one talk passion but then interest for filmmaking yeah so yeah that's something i want to hear. you know one thing i've noticed I know you don't like it, but when people start making money, then they start exploring. They start exploring. When you get me here, then you sit down and then I'll take forever. They start exploring other food. But you know, I was already an explorer because um, I did brand design. You did? I did rap. motion. <laughs> wow. You, yeah, done, because, you did illustration self. Because then I for do the logo animation then. Since, so I had to learn motion. Then, like I said, illustration to attach, attach on arms. <laughs> but then the point is, I was trying to see what works. And also, funny enough, he helped me because now I can take like creative charge on any Anything, project. understand. Anything, like yeah. from, so sometimes when I get gigs, like people reach out, clients reach out to me, and they take charge of everything from strategy to execution, social media management, yeah. everything, branding, I will feel, like do oversee it. everything right so what i do is that I, I reach out to people that can do it because and I can't do. you can definitely yeah true. so it's just true. the knowledge i think for me that was the experience for me like getting to know what this actually entails and add it. so yeah the content creation there is just mainly you have been putting fun. myself out there yeah letting people know what are they do and also sharing my experience too because that's the only way important yeah, yeah. i can also help well, people I mean, we are we are wrapping up. I've I've learned three things. I learned the, that three point you mentioned about the creative thing. What was it again? Let's repeat. Commercial success. Commercial success. The creative success. Creative success. And the cultural success. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. One, that one was shout out to Ampofo because mm -hmm. I got that from their interview. So Ampofo and Joshua. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. That's that's interesting. Yeah. One one just one advice for someone. It doesn't have to be tech. Career advice for anybody getting started, right? A teenager, a 25 year old, a 30 year old. One advice, because I mean, you've done so many things. You've moved from engineering, rap to engineering, <laughs> to product design, and other. I mean, you've monetized other things. What advice would you give someone who is not starting? Hmm. Just one advice. And make her, make her do two. No problem. You make her just do <laughs> the advice. <laughs> so, one is know what you want. Mm -hmm. Like, know what you want because at the end of the day, that's what will keep you in line. Because I, when I was doing all this, then I was taking advice from people, but then some of them wasn't really in line with what, what I you wanted, wanted to do. For instance, when I was transitioning, and I didn't make you no know, do transitioning, just do your lane, do engineering. <laughs> why they transition? <laughs> you know, we'll get any remote job. You know, those things they did. So, no so block want. the noise, know what you want, block the noise, then go for it. But then be intentional about it too. You know, sometimes you they need the advice. Yeah, the just, advice they need, yeah. Just know when to take what advice, like filter them, right? So there's that, know what you want. And also the Takashi bits. Yeah, necessary. Like, I go read. hard. <laughs> go hard, bro, yeah. Charlie, because... I mean, if you don't go hard, who will? Yeah, <laughs> go hard or go home. <laughs> like, oh. just go hard. Interesting. Like, so whatever you want to do, just Charlie, learn, learn now. Then, yeah, eventually the, the success will full up. I believe Interesting. that. Interesting. Yes, and last one, now you're the Abano. Nyame. So, God is important. Yeah, God. Number Me, one on it. Yeah, yeah Charlie, I'll be crazy about God. So, yes. 
we got to because you know if you do this all alone you need some divine force and yes mm. i i had one nice nice listen this was a very nice conversation for our audience watching where can they reach out to you social media i mean no, no phone number i beg you <laughs> <laughs> no phone number but here's your social media your websites your linkedin how can they reach out to you you, uh, can, you can look at them and then yeah so <laughs> 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 for my social media is jdj henson so j d j h i n s o n instagram twitter tiktok tiktok that's my handle mm-hmm. jeffrey de graf henson even if you type jeffrey de graf henson on google you get anything Aish. yeah so like, I, I did it you did it i did yeah. it. anything you want to know i did it just yeah. type are, my are you open to collaborating with other people yes this year more collaboration this year more collaboration so like. <laughs> yeah i'm collaborating with this boy we will do amazing things this year yes yes so, so like, this so year like. the collaboration i'm open to it just reach out if you get any i will try balance them with what i have going on so yeah let's nice. make magic all right guys so that was jeffrey the craft system amazing product designer and i'm sure you've learned a thing or two me i learned that three things even though i forgot right i know there's creative success commercial and culture <laughs> i wish i could. all right so that being said we'll see you in the next one i hope you enjoy this thank you <laughs>